guys mbr here and we are here with a brand new rebuild today we will be rebuilding the new york city jets or new jersey how i hear a lot of people say new jersey jets nowadays they're new york jets um yeah we are using the free agency roster so these are all updated so we have jeremy attached we have josh martin probably gonna get traded but we have cj mosley we have on the offensive side, Le'Veon, Bell, the big one, Kaleche Osemele, and other players such as that. Now, this 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 franchise is ready to win. They are ready to win right now. They drafted their franchise quarterback last year, and now they're just kind of in that stage where they're like, okay, we have Sam Darnold. He has a year under his belt. Let's give him everything he needs. They went out and got Jameson Crowder, who I think is criminally underrated. The guy's a very, very good slot receiver. So I have Quincy Inunua, another guy who... I, I don't watch very much Jets football. Um, I watch them from time to time whenever they're on. Because, of course, New York, switch between Giants and Jets. But um, he doesn't look bad. And we have Chris Herndon, who really turned on um, in his rookie season. I'm surprised he's still only a rookie. I mean, still only a normal development. He did very, very good. I liked him. From the little Jets football I did see. Offensive line is going to be a problem. We are going to try and upgrade this as much as we can. The offensive line is just not the best. Not the best. Uh, we added Clay J. Osemele, who I think in real life is going to be a big part, but just an older guy. Brandon Winters was pretty good last year, but again, older guy. Madden, same thing with Kevin Bleachum. Defensively is where we're going to shine, though. This offensive line is very good with Harry Anderson and Leonard Williams. Probably going to have to go get another D-tackle very, very soon. Of course, uh, cornerback is going to be a big problem for us. Their big free agent, Tremaine Johnson, did not perform his best. Didn't perform his best. Um, I think the two rookie safeties in Marcus May and Jamal Adams are going to be here for a while. Be here for a very long while. And this linebacking core, if we can get two pass rushers, I think that these middle linebackers could do a lot, a lot of work. But I think our defense is m closer complete than our offense. But mm, they're kind of both the same way. But we have to hope Le'Veon Bell can really carry us. We're not going to make the playoffs the first year. I've already kind of diagnosed that. We're not going to make the playoffs the first year. Um, Shane McLennan, I Steve McLennan, he's 32. I'm going to see what I can get for him. I want to see what I can get from him. He has been a Jets stalwart, so I'm not sure. He's been very, very good with the Jets. Um, trying to think. Who could I bring in? Is there anybody I could bring in? Um, Not really. A lot of kickers. Um, Yeah, so we're going to see what we can get for Shane McClendon. I might just keep him. Um, Tremaine Johnson's a big cap hit. How old is he? 28. We might try to trade him in the offseason. But I think most of these trades are going to come in the offseason, honestly. Because as of right now, we kind of need everyone we have. So, yeah, it's going to kind of be, be a dry run for the first year. I probably won't even count it for the first year. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So, looking at it, we did not end up making the playoffs, which... We kind of expected, kind of didn't, but we did have big years, uh, progression-wise, from what we really needed. Um, yeah, Sam Darnold progressed. We had, I know, Robbie Anderson progressed quite a little bit. Um, just progression from people that we honestly needed. Jamal Adams, Marcus May, and a few other guys. Looking at the season, we went 7-9. Not a bad record, looking at our team. Sam Darnold having a very good season. 4,300 yards, 34 touchdowns. 13 interceptions, 64% completion rating. Very good. Rushing the ball, 1,300 yards, 15 touchdowns for Le'Veon Bell. The Le'Veon Bell type season. Receiving over 1,000 yards for Robbie Anderson and Jameson Crowder. Showing off their worth. Locking. I don't expect this to be good. I'll take it. I will take it from that offensive line. See, did mostly 104 tackles. Tackles for loss. 15 by Leonard Williams. Not very many sacks. Oh, God, that's bad. We need to progress that in the offseason. Three, yeah. Defense is going to be the place to progress this offseason. Yearly rewards. Ezekiel Elliott is going to win the MVP. Nobody from our team in the AFC is going to be Patrick Mahomes. Hey, Sam Darnold coming there, number eight. Defensive player of the year is going to be Vaughn. 
Miller, CJ Mosley at number three. That's what I like to see. Offensive rookie of the year is going to be Josh Allen. With Sam Darnold coming in there at number three, though. Hmm. The three quarterbacks came in, well, four quarterbacks came in, one, two, three, and four. And then we have Chris Herndon over there. Defensive rookie of the year is going to be Tremaine Edmonds. Nobody from our team. Okay. Not a bad season at all. Um, progression wise, I think, I think we're one to two years away. I think we are definitely one to two years away. If we can add some pieces in free agency again, maybe get rid of a loaded contract or two in Tremaine Johnson, I think we could, we could do good. We could do good very, very soon. I'm very excited for the future of this re He was extremely, extremely barren. Nobody there except for Kareem Hunt, and that was kind of it. Um, we don't really need a running back, so Tremaine Johnson will be trade away for a first round pick. Uh, we need cornerback help very, very desperately, and Tremaine Johnson is going to have to do it for us. Um, just wasn't very good. He's getting older. Even though he is pro our best cornerback by a long, long margin, we need to get the draft pick, and we need to get better on the defensive side, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're trying to build this team through the defensive side because as of right now, I feel more confident in the offense than I feel in the defense. From what I seen last year, we have one cornerback on the roster. We only have one cornerback on the roster. So, yeah. We need help on the defensive side. Pass rushers, I'm not sure we're going to do with that yet. We have a lot of needs, and we're going to have to fix them throughout the draft, which is going to be a tiny bit hard. With the 12th pick in the first round, the New York Jets will be selecting DeAndre Baker out of Georgia. This is a guy who I actually think the Jets should take. They definitely do need cornerback help in real life, too. DeAndre Baker, 75 quick. He's our best cornerback. <laughs> kind of easy as that. I might actually pick another cornerback just because we need more cornerbacks. And I'll take a 75 quick with our number, him being our number one cornerback. He will progress very, very well in this Jets system. Jeffrey Simmons, the absolute freak defensive tackle out of Mississippi State. Makes no sense not to pick him up here. 74 quick development. Uh, not mad about that. He's going to man up the middle. We did get rid of Steve McLennan in the offseason. So just trying to get younger here, develop these young players. He's a scheme fit, everything that we would want in a defensive tackle. He is exactly what we need. A guy who I didn't really think was going to be that much, but actually turned out to be pretty decent. Trayvon Mullen out of Clemson, another guy who's going to come in and start right away for us. Uh, here in for the, like the 20-something pick in the second round. Quick development, 74 overall can develop for us right away. It could make a very, very good pairing with um, DeAndre Baker for a new young cornerback core. Like, um, I'm not so sure if we're going to compete this year. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think we will complete compete. Our offensive line, we we just didn't have enough to, um, to I guess, repair it. I'm not all, not everything is going to come in one year. And... It just wasn't meant to be with the offensive line for right now. Defensively, I think we did get better and younger. Now, Justin, oh, Justin, Jeffrey Simmons is going to be good. I'm telling you right now, he's going to be good. DeAndre Baker and Trayvon Mullen, who is right now our slot cornerback. I think those two are going to be very, very good. I did also get Grant Haley, just because we need an extra cornerback. Uh, we still have two very good linebackers. Um, I did decide to draft Ryan Byron. Uh, Brian Burns, who is a quick development, I think. 71, so we'll see what that does. But I think overall, we got younger and we got scheme fits, which are two big things for progression. And I think next year, if we hit on the draft and we hit him for agency, could definitely be our year of comp when we start to compete. Because I'm not sure if Sam Darnold's going to have a sophomore slump or not. We should also waste a year of Le'Veon Bell. But he's already 27, but hopefully we can just get better. And that's what I'm looking at this year for. Next year, the offensive line is going to have a complete overhaul. Defensively, I'm going to try and get some more cornerbacks and pass rushers. Those are going to be our two biggest parts. But let's first of all, let's see how this year, you know, see how we fare. Maybe if we have a big year by Sam Darnold, we could compete. Okay, so something I can't say I expected. We made the wild card round. I am not going to argue with this in any way possible. Um, doesn't look like our offense had the best season, but our defense definitely did. DeAndre Baker, Trayvon Mullen, and Grant Haley all went up by a lot. Wow. Okay. I, okay. 
I will take this 100% of the time. We went 10-6 and six to win our division. Stats, uh, Sam Darnold, 40, no sophomore slump. 4,400 yards, 26 touchdowns, 18 interceptions, rushing the ball, 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns for Le'Veon Bell. And Le'Veon Bell seasons, man, I love it. Robbie Anderson, 1,000 yards, 918 for Jamison Crowder. 805 for Christian Herndon and 797 for Quincy Nunwa. Spraying the ball all around. Kevin Bleachum letting up one more sack than he did last year. TJ Mosley, 99 tackles. Tackles for loss. 14 by Brian Burns and 13 by Leonard Williams. Leonard Williams is also going to lead us in sacks with 6, 4.5 for Avery Williamson. 4 for Jordan Jenkins. Interceptions, we have 2 from Jalen Hill, 2 from DeAndre Baker, 2 from Gray Haley. One, one, and one. Very, very good season overall. Very good season. Deshaun Watson is the league MVP. Nobody from our team in the NFC. I don't say NFC. AFC. Be Deshaun Watson. Le'Veon Bell coming in there at number three. Uh, defensive player there is going to be Miles Garrett. No Jets. Off in the rookie there is going to be Will Greer. No G8. Uh, I almost said G. Never mind. Uh, Jets, we're going to have Brian Burns and DeAndre Baker in there. That's overall an absolutely amazing season. We're going to be in the wild card round. It's going to be big for us. Let's see if we can go past the 10-6 and six Kansas City Chiefs. Who knows? We can win a Super Bowl with this very, very young team. In the game with the Kansas City Chiefs, and we are already knocking on the door. We got seven points, but looks like they're going to answer right back with three. We're going to score right away. Grant Haley was injured. We have injuries turned off. Okay. Two minute drill. Uh, we're not going to come in. We're leading right now. Third down. Make a big stop. Come on. Do it. Red zone alert is where we're going to take over. 43 seconds left. We're in MetLife. This is where Sam Darnold makes his mark right here. This is what we need from Sam Darnold and this young Jets offense. We just need some points. And I think we have Robbie Anderson. Let's go. For the touchdown, Robbie Anderson. Not sure what the guy's doing. But we are going to go up by two scores right there. We're going to go up by three scores. You have to remember, this is the Madden Sim. So they can get freaky. We're going to go up by a lot. Skip the moment. I'm going to come in right here. It is a third and three. I'm going to keep the ball on the ground, force them to take a timeout if it is incomplete. We have what I think is the best running back in the NFL at our disposal, and he's just going to run right up the middle. Is that going to be a first down? Fourth and in inches. There's no way we're not going for this. There's literally zero way. No, let me go for it. Zero way. I'm not going to go for a 58-yard field goal. Are you kidding me? No, we're going to go for this one. I don't want to go special teams. We're going to goal line. We're going to go for the ye old QB sneak with, what, 6-4? Sam Darnold. He is our quarterback of the future, and he's going to secure victory for us right there. And I think now we just run out the clock. We'll be fine. Third down alert again. How do you... How is these third down alerts this fast? Come on. Two clock. Um, honestly, just take the stretch play. We're trying to put it on this, on the uh, right hash. And let's just get out of here. Let's get out of MetLife. Let's go up to the next round. Or let's get the first down. Le'Veon Bell. He wants to win this game. He wants to do what the Steelers could not. Having absolute monster game. We're going to take our field goal here. Fourth and 13. Almost got sacked or something. Thing that's in. Is that the wind? Ooh. That's not good. That is not good at all. These Kansas City Chiefs. Fourth and inches. I'm going to blitz all the way. I don't think they're going to run it. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I don't think they're running this. It makes no sense to. They are. Oh no, they are not. I went way, way off my guy. 
They have 11. Oh, yeah, they're not. We have this game one. I'm going to go into the onside kick. We have to recover this one. Come on. This is already way too close of a game. Thank you. Josh Bellamy is going to recover it for us. And I think right there is where we can call ball game. The New York Jets will be going on to the divisional round against the winner of, I'm not sure which game, but we took down the Kansas City Chiefs. This young Jets team is showing some scrap in them. All right, in First Energy Stadium, and we are going against the Cleveland Browns here. It looks like we're already on the board, but they're going to get on the board right back. Yeah, they're going to get their own seven. It looks like they're going to go for even more, 14. I'm going to play this two-minute warning. Um, yeah, I think we should play this one. Try and get some sort of points for the two minutes. I have to say smart here with the football. I haven't really played Madden all that much. MLB The Show just came out a few days ago. So, ooh, I do. We can't take tack in that situation. Have to run the hurry up here. Cannot be taking sacks in that situation. Not very good. I'm looking for Jameson Crowder over the middle. Or I'm going to see what the safety does. See if he's going to... Ooh. I have him. This is Robbie Anderson. He's too good. It's too good in this situation. Let's go. I'm going to let the time run off just a little bit. I, we still have Todd Bowles as our coach. I forgot who... If they did fire Todd Bowles or not. Pretty sure they did. And I'm not sure who they hired. I'm really not sure who the Jets hired as their coach. But we're going to be looking for Le'Veon Bell. Have to take a timeout now. Cannot take those sacks. Miles Gary is completely crushing our offensive line right now. I really don't want to run that. We'll try for a play action route and get Robbie Anderson right over the middle and the over under. If I can, but Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett's going to get to us. That's annoying. That's very, very annoying. Don't let Joe Schober. They're going to get points off of that. Oh, God. Kevin Bleachum just got destroyed by Miles Garrett twice. It is 24 to 7. Fourth and one. Why are we going for any sort of field goal? Like, who would do that? Fourth and one. We're going to run it right up the middle. This defense has been destroying us today. All right. Le'Veon Bell is going to get crushed. Oh my god, our offensive line is not showing up in the playoffs right now. 31-7. I think that's going to kind of call it for us. Yeah. That's our calling card. And that is going to be the end of this game. We're going to lose by 20 to the Browns. And we, we beat them in the regular season too. Pretty sure we beat them in the regular season. That's very, very annoying. But we're going to come back stronger than ever. We're going to make some moves in the free in free agency and everything. And we're going to be a stronger team next year. Hopefully, we can face the Browns again. This next time, we'll beat them 34-4. Free agency was kind of barren again. I'm not going to lie. It was not good. So, the only person we're going to try to sign is Jack Newhor. There was a good center. But the Dolphins were bidding 125 points on him. I'm not going to pay that much. We're going to get Jack Newhor here. Um... Just a guy to upgrade this offensive line. Left tackle is probably going to be our very first pick in the draft this year. Um, don't be surprised if it is. Then to next week, see if we got him. Um, accepted. All right. So going into the draft, offensive line, of course. Uh, we're looking towards the tackle spots. That is where we need the most. I might kick out one of these guys to tackle, honestly. Um, I want to go wide receiver. Wide receiver is going to be a meh pick. And then cornerback, of course, is going to be... Cornerback and pass rush are going to be two positions of need for us. But overall, we had a good season last year. We're going to try to hit on the draft and we can build on it. This With our first pick, number 25, we'll be picking up Ben Berenzen. Uh, we're looking to change this guy into a tackle. Or we're looking to change one of our other guards into a tackle. Because this guy is very, very good. Uh, he looks good. I think he could be... A good player. I've never picked him before. 79 quick. Not bad at all. That's, I think, our highest rated offensive lineman right there. So, get ready for the draft to be very, very offensive line and defense based. 
because that's kind of our biggest places need. I'm picking up another offensive lineman, Scott France, or France, however you pronounce it. Looks to be very good, good combine, good top three skills. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't pick this guy here. Take a flyer pick on him. He's going to be 76 normal. He can definitely move over to right tackle and be an instant upgrade to our offensive line from what we've had in year, years past. Into season number three. Um, I'm not really sure how we're going to do. Um, I definitely wanted to hit a little bit better on the draft. But overall, I think we did decent. Um, our offensive line has gotten better. But honestly, I, I don't know. This seems a big wild card to me. Uh, I was very surprised we made the playoffs last year. But I think we're going to have to get a little bit of luck again this year to make them. I don't think our team's bad, but I definitely do think there should be a little bit of progressing going on. But we'll see, honestly. We'll see. Again, if we can have another big year from Sam Darnold and these receivers and have another big year from our defense and a lot of our younger guys stepping up, I think we could be a very, very good team. And this is our chance right now because our division isn't too stacked to Patriots. I'm pretty sure Tom Brady retired. Um, the Dolphins aren't doing super, super good. The only team I know is doing good is the uh, Bills. So this is our time. If we're going to make some noise, we're going to make it right here, right now. So, let's see. Honestly, I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Hopefully, we do good. But if we don't, we'll just come back next year. But let's see if we can make... All right, so we got a first-round bye. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, we went 12-4. and four, And it looks like we did very, very good. I don't know how one of the lowest-rated overall teams that we built is doing this good. Sam Darnold, 4,700 yards, 39 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Absolutely amazing year. Rushing, just that Le'Veon Bell years, man. 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns. 1,000 yards, well, 1,300 yards and 16 touchdowns, Jameson Crowder. 1,006 for Christopher Herndon. Showing his colors right here, 788 and 5. A little bit down here for Robbie Anderson. Uh, blocking, we're going to have, not bad, not bad at all. Not mad at that at all. Defensively, Jamal Adams, 102 tackles. Tackles for loss can be 13 by Leonard Williams, 10 for Terrell Basham, 10 for Jeffrey Simmons. Still have not been able to get the decent pass rusher, but Terrell Basham. Okay, we just signed him off the street. Seven, seven sacks. I'll take that. I'll take that 100%. Four picks from Trayvon Mullen, two, two, one, 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 and one. Okay. Not mad at that at all. We are definitely riding up the ranks right now. Deshaun Watson is going to win the MVP. Sam Darnold in number two. You're kidding me. That's a little bit annoying. In the AFC, it is going to be Deshaun Watson. Sam Darnold number three. Le'Veon Bell at number five. And Carson Wentz. Wentz is Steelers. He was in for agency. Defensive player of the year is going to be Miles Jack. CJ Mosley number two. Trayvon Mullen number four. Uh, offensive rookie of the year is going to be Tate Martell. Oh, yeah. We just we picked up offensive linemen. That's all we did. So. Yeah, we did everything. Very, very surprised with everything here. Happy with everything. We can make some big moves. Let's make some big moves this uh, postseason. Let's send to next week. First of all, let's see who we're facing in the divisional round. We will be facing the rival Buffalo Bills. If this isn't going to be a challenge, I'm not sure what is. The Buffalo Bills went... 11 and 5 and Josh Allen's look pretty pretty good. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can beat these guys. And let's see if we can beat these guys for the Jets championship. Let's win a Super Bowl. Let's bring it back to New York. Okay guys, so going into this, we're in MetLife in a divisional series. We're up seven. Oh, a divisional series. Divisional round. I'm playing too much MLB the show. Um and it looks like we're getting beat up a little bit, but we're going to come right back. These Buffalo Bills are not going to give up. I'm going to not take this one. Red zone alert. This is where we take it. This is where we have to take it right here. Let's go up by more than one. I, I don't want to run the ball, but I do. I'm going to look and see what we have. I could probably run the ball here. I don't want to get like that instant touchdown. So I'm actually going to call a draw. That's not a bad play right here. Open up right in the middle. Le'Veon Bell get through. Uh, the offensive line did not collapse the way it needed them to. I'm not going to go for the cross screen. I was very much thinking about it. But I think Christopher Herndon or 
or we're just going to run the ball. I feel like running it. Sam Darnold with the speed picking up the first down. He's just a new set of downs, which is big for us. <sighs> All right, so slants, they never disappoint. Never disappoint in the red zone here when we're trying to pass it and not trying to run the ball. Well, can I run something just right up the middle? That's what I'm going to do that first. I'm going to do that first. We have our blocking tight end Leggett in the game. We're going to look to run the ball. Le'Veon Bell and just... Come on, Le'Veon. I hate the acceleration in this game. It sucks so bad. I still have not gotten used to the running game. You have to like wait and wait and wait and then press it. Very, very weird. But we're going to look to Robbie Anderson or Sam Wheels Darnold. Sam Wheels Darnold? Slide, slide. Oh my god, don't lose the ball. Do not lose the ball. All right, we're in the one yard line. I'm just going to dive this one in. We're looking to dive this one in. Okay, Le'Veon Bell. All right, so I'm going to call a timeout. We're going to call a timeout right here. I'm going to go for a few quarterback sneaks. It's fourth and goal already. With 19 seconds left. I know how the Madden Sim is. But I don't care. We're at fourth and goal right here. I have to do it. I have to do it. On the one yard line, Sam Darnold in for the rushing touchdown. And that is a big one for us. That's a very, very big one. And we're still going with 21 21. Skip this moment right here. I'm going to bring back this punt because we are going, we're looking to score here. They have Marquette King as their punter, so not a bad punter at all. So, yeah, let it ride, let it ride. That was a perfect punt. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. How do you get that much of a perfect bounce? A little bit annoying. But we're going to mix in the run game and the pass game here. This is how we're going to waste time off the clock. I'm going to try to get to the two-minute warning. We're in control of this game as of right now. Our offensive line, that's going to be a holding call on our offensive line. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're trying to win this game. Scott Franz holding. <sighs> All right. Really not sure what to run. I'm we're just going to run it, honestly. It makes no sense not to run it right up the gut. Waste time off the clock. Let's get out of here. Le'Veon Bell, come on, break a tackle or two. This is where we pass it now. Um, I'm going to go look for an out route. I'm going to look for an out route. Two minute warning. Okay. But we're going to be looking for those out routes, stuff like that. Ooh, this halfback wheel play is not bad at all. If I can get Robbie Anderson on the inside... Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of places that can be open here. We're doubling up on this side. Robbie Anderson, right there. That's going to be intercepted. You're kidding me. How does he play the ball that well? We're going to have to tie this one up now. I, I don't want to do this. How does he play the ball that well? So they're just going to get the touchdown here, yeah. And now we'll have better field position, at least. And I actually want to switch this play. I want to flip play. What's the RT? I'm trying to flip this play. I want Robbie Anderson running that over. Well, that uh, in and out route. I think he could do big, big damage on it. No, 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 no. <sighs> Sam Darnold. Okay, okay. Someone get open. Oh, my God. I'm... A, A's wide open. No way. You're kidding me. Oh, my God. Oh, that was that was a good and a bad play at the same time. Oh, that was close. That was way too close. That was way too close. I don't like this. We're trying to win this game. And it's probably going to go into OT. I am already can feel this one's going into OT. Take the under. Get out of bounds. Come on, Inunwa. Ooh. 
We need a touchdown to win it here. If I can get this safety. Come on, Micah Hyde. Okay. This is where Robbie Anderson shines. This is where he shines. Right here. Robbie Anderson. Let's go. All right. I don't want to get insta touchdown. That's my only thing. So we're going to try it. And I'm going to go to the outside. I really, really, really don't want to get insta touchdown. <laughs> okay. Le'Veon Bell some room. All right. I like to see it. I like to see it. A noon watch at a corner it looks very, very good right now. No, it does not. I'm gonna run out of pocket, throw that way. Nope. We are not going to risk a sack in that situation. Stop the clock. Third and three. We're not to the end zone just yet. Whew, I'm hoping this Le'Veon Bell route is not covered because if I can get Le'Veon Bell on that outside, that'd be perfect. Yep, right there. First down, Le'Veon Bell. All right. Timeout. 25 seconds left on the clock. We're at the eight yard line with three timeouts. I think we run the ball once. We run the ball at least once. We'll go for a power play, actually. No, I'm going to go for the power O. It does not look good at all. We have a timeout, though. We have one more timeout left. That gained us some type of yardage. Two yards. I'm not mad about that at all. Why is it giving me all these deep passing plays and scissor routes and stuff? I don't want that. Okay. This is for all the marbles here. I might actually let Sam Darnold run this one in. If nobody gets open, which no one is. No, no, no. Ooh, we gotta take a last timeout. We have to. We're down two yards. We have probably around two passing plays left. If we don't get sacked. I can't run it with Sam Darnold. I have to extend the play. Okay. All right. I had someone open for like a split second. I'm going to just throw it away. Throw that one away. Fourth and goal. Oh, God. Give me a good play. Come on. I need Christopher Herndon over the middle here. I need Christopher Herndon over the middle. I'm going to force that one. Right there. Christopher Herndon. He didn't catch it. Are you kidding me? You're actually kidding me. I did everything right and he just couldn't catch it. That was a perfect pass. To get it right out of the way of Tremaine Edmonds and he didn't get it. Oh god, that's annoying. Uh, oh, it's tough. That's a really, really tough pill to swallow. Okay. We're coming back for one more year. And let's see if we can beat him next time. Oh god, that's a tough pill. That's a really, really tough pill to swallow. See, we only will be getting two people, and that is going to be Anthony Barr, who I'm going to probably switch into a middle linebacker. He's not very much a pass rusher, so I'm probably going to switch him into a middle linebacker. I mean, wait, I, with did I just withdraw his offer. Please don't tell me I withdraw the offer. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Um, I actually want to look at his ratings, pass rushing wise. Good tackle, good speed, good block. He? I think we will keep him out on the edge. He could actually be a decent pass rusher. You know, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Is we're going to keep him out on the edge. And I'm going to try to sign back Avery Williams, though. That actually wouldn't be half bad. Get him and then also have... Uh, who do I have on the other side again? Brian Burns. And get back Avery Williams and didn't want to resign. Or just get Jake Ryan. Tighten up this pass rushing core. We didn't really sign that many free agents this year. I mean, this rebuild. I'm really, really looking at it. I probably won't show you guys the draft because... Rejected by Barr. Are you kidding me? Damn it. I'm probably just going to draft a guard. That's going to be it. Other than that, um, 
We're going to look to get another pass rusher. I'm looking. I might actually sign Ryan Kerrigan. I know Ryan Kerrigan's probably still here. Is he? Let's hope. Ryan Kerrigan is still here, and he's probably he is going to be signed by the New York Jets. Jets, 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 as we bring back the franchise. Ryan Kerrigan is going to sign with us. So, and with all that said, I'll see you guys probably at the beginning of the year for the season. Guys, what our final team is going to be looking like? 83 offense, 87 defense, and I'm not going to lie. This team hasn't been the best that we built, but it's definitely been one of my favorites. It has absolutely been one of my favorites. I've loved every single second of this rebuild. It's been super, super fun. And I think we're doing the most here. Um, it hasn't been the best team, but it's been a team that meshes. And that's something I'm starting to learn at rebuilds, that you can build a 99 overall team all you want, but you got to make a mesh. And that's exactly what our team has done. Let's hope here for our final year with the guys we brought in, the guys we've already had, let's see if we can make the playoffs and hopefully bring a Super Bowl back to New York in this last season. I'm just excited as you are. I'm hopefully, you guys are just as excited as I am. Let's see if we can make the playoffs once again. Make the playoffs in our last year of the rebuild. We go 9-7, and seven and we're in the wild card round against the New England Patriots. Uh, we definitely didn't have the season we've had before, but we made the playoffs, so... We're fine. 4,400 yards, 35 touchdowns, 10 interceptions from Sam Darrell. Not a bad season. Rushing, 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns for Le'Veon Bell. He's getting older and older, but still getting better and better. Uh, 1,080 for Robbie, Robbie Anderson. 1,020 and 9 for Jameson Crowder. Two guys who have been amazing for us. Offensive line didn't do bad at all. TJ mostly 122 tackles. Tackles for loss. This is going to be 14 by Ryan Kerrigan. Nine sacks for Brian Burns and nine for Leonard Williams coming in the clutch. Interceptions, three for Grant Haley, two for Marcus May, two for DeAndre Baker, one for two other players. Overall, a good season. Made the playoffs, I'm not going to argue. Ezekiel Elliott's going to win his second MVP or third. One of those two in the AFC. I don't know why he keeps on doing that. Um, Patrick Mahomes is going to win the MVP. Le'Veon Bell coming there number four. They picked Tua, who's already a 98 overall. You're kidding me. Sam Darnold's... Oh, God, it's annoying. That's... How is he already 98 overall? Miles Jackson won the MVP. I am deep in the player of the year. CJ Mosley's going to come in number 9. Trevor Lawrence is going to win the... M oh, wait, no, that's last year. All right, Trevor Lawrence is going to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And Anthony Hines is going to win that one. For a second, I thought Tua was a rookie. But, yeah, overall, good season. And let's see. Let's go into this game. We're going to be going into Foxborough. Let's see if we can do what Jets teams of the past have done and beat on the Patriots. We're already in the red zone. And I don't know. I guess I took over. I don't want to take over. Um, yeah. We're going to go play key moments. We're going to let this one kind of ride. Um, yeah. Honestly, we're just looking to win. We really need to win this game. I really want to make the... Through what we made the playoffs three times already. It's gonna be seven to three. We're gonna give up the ball. It's ten to seven. We're gonna play this one. Um, yeah, we've already made the playoffs twice. We've lost in the divisional round both times. So I really don't want to lose in the divisional round. I kind of just wanna. I just wanna win, you know. I wanna move Le'Veon Bell. They're gonna have Stephon Gilmore on him. Bold move. Bold move. Um, I have him. Oh, I threw that a little bit late. I threw it very, very late. Just knock it down. All right, good. I threw that very, very late. We had him a lot earlier. Just did not see that at all. We're going to just come back. We're going to be throwing probably to Jameson Crowder on the outside. Or actually, if the safety blitzes, which he is, so I can have him float that one for Robbie Anderson. Let's go. All right. We're looking good. I like how we're looking right now. I like that play. I want to run this boot play. Run this bootleg. See, I don't think Jameson Crowder is going to get it open on the outside. Ooh, we have B wide open, but I had a... We had B open for a slight moment, but... I had to throw that one away. I had to. We were going to get sacked. Sam Darrell's throwing the run it isn't exactly the best. So, yeah, we're going to go four. Easy four verts, just... Easy, reliable four verticals with Christopher Herndon. Ooh. Ooh, come on, we have to have that one. 
He was open. He was wide, wide open. All right. We're going to go for the verts, and we're going to have the under route going over. I think we're going to have, yep, a pocket right there. Jameson Crowder is going to pick up the first down. We're just dissecting right here. I'm going to run the cross. Beat. I'm not a super big fan of screen plays in this game. Not the biggest fan. Let's see what we can do right here. Yeah, no. They pick them up so fast. I don't know how. Do not know how they pick them up so fast. All right, I'm going to look towards Le'Veon Bell, but I'm probably going to hit Robbie Anderson. Uh, we're going to see what goes on. No, it's every single time I get intercepted by safety on that play. I'm trying to not throw it so far. Oh, God. Oh, God, I hate that play. I hate that play. I hate that play. We're going to go right back into the red zone. Oh, God, I'm not running that play anymore. I'm not running that play. I didn't want to throw it to the outside because I'm like, all right. So Deontay Hightower is probably going to pick this off. And then Andre Howe decides to come in. I didn't even see the time limit. I did not see the time was running. Okay. That's fun. This game, the middle of it hasn't been so good. We're going to have Clement. That's not Corey Clement. We have a hole. But we're not going to run through it. Okay, so up to the 26. That's not a bad not bad to start out with and we are gonna keep on going i'm gonna let this one ride 14 to 10. looks like they're gonna score here third down and what and one okay i'm gonna run the dive two minute warning third down and one we are trying to win it here I'm going to switch this into an inside zone. Even though running up the middle would probably be really, really smart here. I'm going to still run it right up the middle of the inside zone. But I just think this would be better. And Le'Veon Bell is going to pick up the first down. That was big. That's super, super big. It's where we need it. This is right where we need it right here. All right. They're, it looks like they're playing three deep. Are you kidding me? Yeah, do not let Sam Wheels Darnold get out in open space. Do not allow it. All right. This out route looks very, very good. I kind of want to run two quarterback sneaks. But I'm going to look towards the out route here. We're just going to run this one in. Easy. Finished. Let's go. Sam Darnold. That's what we like to see. We're going to get the touchdown there, but they have 107 left on the clock. Fourth down, I'm going to come in. Fourth and five. <sighs> All right. Let's let them not do this. Fourth and five, let's close out the game here. Yep. Cool. Cool. That's going to be interception. Oh, good. Knocked away. Knocked it away. I'm perfectly fine with that. That was big. Who is that? Is that Marcus May? We're going for a field goal. You're kidding me. We're giving them time? That's a good kick. That's a very, very good kick. That's going to go right through. Oh, God. We're only leading by around six. Okay. Fourth down and 15. I'm going to make this. I'm just going to run prevent defense. We're going to run prevent defense. Makes no sense not to. Three deep. Nothing is going to go over our heads. I'm actually going to use a D lineman. I don't want to. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's annoying. But we're going to win it anyway, because they didn't have any more timeouts. Okay. Did not look at the timeouts once again. We're going to win that one. And we will be going to the Divisional Series, which as Divisional Round, which has not been the best for us. But let's see if we can break that curve. All right, guys. So we are right here in Arrowhead, going against the 13-3 and three Chiefs. And we are taking advantage of all the situations right away. 
We miss a field. Are you kidding me? We're that close. Should be up by two scores right now, but our offense is just going right down the field with ease. 21 to 7, 28 to 7. They could still come back, so I'm not going to say anything. 14, 17. He's going to miss a field goal kick. All right. Third down and what? Six? I'm going to take this run right here. I'm trying to put away this game. We are going to try and put away this game right here. Third and six. I've loved this Robbie Anderson out route so far. It has done wonders. Take the two-minute warning. All right. I actually run a stick play. I'm going to try to run the slant. Get Robbie Anderson right over the middle. And let's just close out this game. We don't have to have it be close. Right there. Robbie Anderson with the catch. All right. Make them waste their timeouts. Let's get out of here. Third down and what? Six again. Skipped a moment. Fine. I'll take the field goal kick. 40 yards. See this drill this. And I don't think we drilled it. We missed it again. Come on. This is what happens when you don't play Madden for like a full week. We have Mason Crossbar too as our kicker. Hmm. Alright. Onside recovery. Come on, Jets. Come on, Jets. Alright. Quincy and Nunez going to get that one. All right. <sighs> Big field goal kick again. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. All right, right there. I don't think that's a bad kick. That's probably not enough power, though. And we're going to give up the ball again. They're going to score right here. They're going to score right here. I'm going to play the moment here. All right. Come on, let's not let them get it first down. Let's go. Who was that? Grant Haley with the knockdown. Clutch play, and we're going to make it to the AFC Championship round. Feet is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to start hurrying this stuff up. Amazing game. Again, we're up to AFC Championship round. Let's get to the Super Bowl championship round we're in first energy stadium going this is dreaded Cleveland Browns and we're trying to beat them we are going our we're gonna do our best to try to beat these guys three three it looks like ten three but it looks like they're gonna score two I'm not gonna take this two minute warning make the field goal all right 13 13 we're trading blow for blow 16 13 is whoever's gonna get the touchdown at this point red zone alert we're at the 18 all right I, ooh, I really want to run the read option i we're gonna run it we're gonna run the read option i love running the read option in this game because it looks like they're kind of prepared for it but at the same time they're kind of not Le'Veon bell is gonna take that ball should add a little bit of a bigger gain but I'll take that 100% of the time. All right. <sighs> Robbie Anderson, this corner out. I'm going to see where the linebacker drops, and he's going to... Okay, so we should have it right... Th he broke on that so perfectly. Who is that Denzel Ward? That has to be Denzel Ward. I think that's Denzel Ward. Yeah, that is Denzel Ward. Yeah, he broke on that way, way too well. That... We got very, very lucky there. All right, Christopher Herndon over the middle. Does not sound like a very, very, very bad shell. All right. Ooh, I had B open for a split second. I stopped running. Fourth and 15. This is where we take our field goal. They have five sacks on the day. Wind is blowing heavy. Should be a decent kick. It's right there. Right in the uprights, 19 to 13. We're going to go up by six. They can still easily get a touchdown. 
Instant touchdown. Oh, God. They're going to get the instant touchdown. 19 to 20. All we need is a field goal. This is the time, Sam Darnold. This is the time. <sighs> okay. We're going to go for the shot play first. Got him. Right there. He overthrew him. Oh, damn it. That shot play worked to perfection. That worked to absolute perfection. And he overthrew him. Now they're respecting it. Le'Veon Bell, and there's going to be a flag. What's that flag? It happened right during the hit. Was it holding? Face mask. Let's go. All right. We are accepting that 100% of the time, that is a big pickup for our offense. I'm not going to test that out. All right. I'm just going to look to get Robbie Anderson out here in open space. Good catch. All right. The first down. They're going to use a timeout here. We're in field goal range. Thing is, can we make the field goal? So I'm going to pass it once more just to get closer and closer. Oh, we have this scissor concept here that could really, really work very, very well. But I'm going to get... We cannot take a sack in that situation. Oh, that's tough. We're on the 45 now. It's going to be a very, very long field goal if we take it from here. Uh, let's not falcon this one. Let's not falcon this one. All right. Robbie Anderson. He's going to catch that. He got knocked. Oh, my God. If he isn't the MVP of this. If he is not the MVP of this, I don't know who is. We're keeping the ball on the ground. We are going to keep the ball on the ground. Power run scheme right here. Makes no sense to put it anywhere else except for in Le'Veon Bell's hands. Cut that one. He's going to get the... F Did he fall forward? Fourth and inches, I'm not... I'm not going to risk this one at all. That's a good kick. We're going to let time run out. We're going to let the time run out. That is a perfect kick. <sighs> All right. I'm not going to leave this up to fate. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to win that one in a game. Winner. It is time. The New York Jets are back in the Super Bowl. Let's Joe Namath this one. I'm guaranteeing a win. Let's get this one. All right, in the Super Bowl, we're going to the 12-4 and four Lions. The 9-7 and seven Jets. We're in Dallas, AT&T. 3-7. And they're looking like they're going to chop us up. Come on. Fourth and two. This is the Super Bowl, man. This is the Super Bowl. We fourth and two, we're going for this one. There's no way in the Super Bowl we're not. Two minute warning. Yeah, we're no, 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 no. Fourth and two. I'm gonna leave it up to the running game here. Even though I would love to put in Sam Darnold's hands, I think Le'Veon Bell has been good all this rebuild. They're not blitzing from that side either. And they're gonna stuff that. Mm. All right. DeAndre Swift is apparent. They have some guys on that team. Two minute drill. We're gonna look to get points. Again, I want to take this Robbie Anderson play. He has just been absolute money all this rebuild. I need him to burn this cornerback right here. Pretty sure that's Darius Slay. Well, that's Darius Toast now, and he overthrows him again. Come on. Sam Darnold, we have to hit those throws. We're going to run it. I'm not throwing to Robbie Anderson. I do not care how... Unless there is a safety 50 miles away from him, I'm not throwing to him. 
No way I'm throwing Robbie Anderson here. And we're going to get sacked. God, this Lions defense is good. Probably should not have guaranteed a win. But you know what? There's, there's still life in us. There is still life in us. All right. Again, I'm going for Robbie Anderson deep. This guy has been too money for us, too fast, too good to not go for him deep in these clutch situations. Playing off very, very well. Come on, Anderson. Oh, I thought he caught that. All right, so we're going to punt this one away. It makes no sense not. It makes no sense not to punt this one away. Whoever Stonehouse is, not the best punt in the world. We're going to give it to him a very, very good field position. I don't think we're winning the Super Bowl, boys. I do not think we're winning, winning this one. I think we might get... Oh, uh, no. I think the Lions might have their very first Super Bowl. Still a lot of ball to be played. But, hey, 10-21. to 21. Can maybe the computer let us make a comeback? Down by 14. If we can stop this Lions offense, I'm going to let the computer take this one. Fourth down, it's six. Need a touchdown here. It's a lot closer game than you would ever expect. Fourth down and six. Robbie Anderson, that's a big, that's a big catch. Okay, we have life in us. We have life in us. All right, we're running the ball. There's zero way I'm not gonna. Actually, this is a really, really stacked defensive line. I'm gonna cut that one to the outside. Le'Veon Bell, Le'Veon Bell, down to the four yard line. 14 rushes for only 38 yards. That's a big one right there. Let's win this rebuild. Let's win this one. We might have to go with Sam Wheels Darnold here. They're going to go an all out blitz. Robbie Anderson for the touchdown. Whew. And we're going to tie it all up here. And we're going to get a punt return. Okay. They're going to leave it up to their defense, which isn't a bad move at all is not the worst move and it looks like we are going to get that one at the 20. The computer has the computer brought us back. I'm going to let the computer run this one. Or not, I guess we're not going to let the computer run this one. Okay. Um I don't want to come out too overly aggressive. I'm going to run the draw. Oh god, I wanted to cut that one that way. This is why I'm going to let the computer get this one. We punted it. Oh my god. I think the Lions are going to win this. Okay. We're at the seven yard line. Oh shoot. 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 Call. 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 Hike. 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 Hike it. Right there. We got it. Touchdown. And we're going to win the Super Bowl at the waning moment. That's humongous. We're going to win the Super Bowl with the New York Jets. The last second. <laughs> Who's going to win the Super Bowl MVP? Who won Super Bowl MVP? We're going to get Todd Bowles a Super Bowl. Oh, that's really, really big. Who won Super Bowl MVP? I want to see it. I really, really want to see it for the Super Bowl. Come on. Highlights. I don't care about the highlights. All right. You know, I guess we're not going to see it. That's super big. This was an absolutely amazing rebuild. I loved every single second of it. Hopefully, you guys did too. Video starting to get long, so I'll keep it short. Next rebuild will probably be the Tennessee Titans. And yeah, so make sure, hopefully you guys enjoyed.
Um, make sure you have an absolutely electrifying day, and I'll see you guys in Tennessee Titans Rebuild next week.